think is the main thing is that you have to each year be better and that's of course you have to know and you have to think what you're doing Hi everyone, welcome to our Scorpina channel and today I'm so glad to introduce to you Matti Piko. <laughs> Hi Matti. Yes, Matti Piko. yes, what's up? <laughs> Hi Matti. Yeah, so, welcome to our channel, thank new you, channel. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Bacala, what's up? <laughs> and first of all, let me ask you a question. Could you tell me something about your international career? Yes. Uh, 2002 I was in the first international competition in World Championship in, in Brazil, in Capo Frio. And after the first day, I was number 10. So I thought that the spear fishing, I mean, the top of the spear fishing is easy to catch. But now it's almost 20 years and I haven't reached that same level yet. But next autumn I will do even better. So maybe you can share with us your history, back background of your spear fishing career, professional spear fishing yes. career. Uh, I started in the middle of 1996 or something. And 1998, I was already first time the Nordic champion. And now, all these, during these 20 years, I'm, I'm a seven-time Nordic champion and um, three, four times Finnish champion. And I've been uh, part of the Finnish national team maybe 15 years. And it's, it's been very interesting and challenging and still I'm 44 years now. But I think that I can still be strong maybe seven, ten years. So I will put, uh, I can, I will do everything what I can to be in the best shape next next years. And uh, very challenging is the um, next autumn we will have a Nordic Championship in Denmark. And last two times I won there in Denmark in Sturebelt. So next autumn is also important for that. So it, it would be nice to be three times Nordic Championship in Denmark. Mati, you are seven times Nordic champion. Yes. But what does it mean to be a champion of Nordic? Yes, of course, it means a lot of hard work and the tolerance of kind of pay and pain and pressure because we are doing all the competitions uh, mostly in the cold water. So you need to have to, you have to have a special skills for diving in, in these kind of conditions. And, um, but mainly, mainly you have to be quite tough guy to to do a lot of di deep diving also in these cold water skills. And then, of course, equipments and all the products what you're using have to be the best quality because it's much more challenging using uh, spare fishing equipment in the cold water than in Mediterranean or somewhere. <laughs> How do you choose your equipment? No, of course, the main thing is that sometimes the sea is frozen. So all the equipments what we are using, they have to be very good quality because otherwise we can't use them. So that's, I mean, that the, one of the main things is that good quality and uh, the, uh, that they, they work in the frozen conditions. frozen conditions. That's very important, of course. What are the challenges you meet every day? Mm. Of course, it's, uh, we live in the um, north, north of Europe, so of course the weather and the wind and the ice conditions are, are challenging. But uh, generally, it's like for everybody, it's just a time when you have time to do what, what you love. And of course, because um, uh, we are not like 100% professional, so you have to do other jobs too. But of course, it's just uh, how you schedule your life and how can you practice and how you can always uh, develop in the sport. Because I think is the main thing is that you have to each year be better. And that's, of course, you have to know and you have to think what you're doing. Maybe you can share with us some memorable moments of your spearfishing career? Yes, of course, there is uh, in these 20 years been many, many important things. But of course, that Cup of Rio 2002 in Brazil was like the moment I never will forget. And, and um, I don't know, it's, each year is as, as remarkable. But of course, there's some, I was diving with uh, Jose Paquerajeta in Pacific Ocean, of course, some, some crazy stuff there. But I mean, that generally each year have been very, very... Um, interesting and funny of course so you do spare fishing in the cold water yes what yes. speciality some special qualities or you have to have mm -hmm. to do it of course first you have to suffer the pain <laughs> because the cold water or diving in, in in with the ice of course you have to have some kind of like um, I mean the pain tolerance but everybody who live here it's just normal you know but if you say some South uh, or Mediterranean guys they of course they always care about this cold water, but the body is very strange. Like nowadays, these guys they can dive 100 meters under the ice. So for us also, like we we can do dive all year round. Uh, just when the sea is in ice, we have to stop. But of course, 
when you do this uh, kind of hardcore conditions, the equipments and the suits and all the stuff have to be, of course, modified for these conditions. So, uh, of, I mean that there is some special special stuff what you need and uh, experience, of course, down in the cold water. Maybe as a professional spearfisher, you can share mm. some. Um, you can give some advice for young mm. generation. Mm. For the for the new generation, I've been always saying the same same advice that. The spearfishing is much better and it's much more interesting than playing the PlayStation. So the only thing what we have to fight, we have to be uh, like more interesting than these video games and the spearfishing is definitely that. So that's the only advice is just to the young people that just come to the sea and you see that the real life is better than those games. Thank you, Matti Puko, for being here with yes. us. We are so glad and happy and then have, have a good luck. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. I need that too. <laughs> Yes, yes, you are my little girl.